everybody. We are making Irish bread today. Let's get started. My kids used to love this bread when they was younger. I used to make it at least twice a week. I decided to mix it with chocolate one time. Then since then, I cannot stop making it without chocolate because they love the chocolate, but I like the plain. So I have to make two. Whenever I make it, I make two of them. Of course, I'm gonna make the chocolate, then the plain the one without chocolate. I'm just gonna show you guys the chocolate one on this video today. But at the end, you're gonna see the plain. I make it the same way, same measurement, same ingredients. Only thing different is the chocolate. If you don't want a chocolate, just skip the chocolate. That's it. It's very easy to make and fast, and it's delicious. First, we're gonna start with the baking soda and the salt. We're gonna mix it together in a flour. Then we're gonna add the butter, followed by the eggs. The egg, actually, I only use one egg. I whisked the egg before the video started. So then here come the rest of the ingredient, the butter milk. Of course, all the measurements in the end, the ingredients will be on the description box. If you don't like chocolate, you can go ahead and skip the chocolate. But if you like chocolate, go ahead and add it. Just don't over mix your butter. Um, it took me about two to three minutes to mix it. It's just, you have to be gentle with it. Um, it's like a biscuit. You don't want to over mix it. I am baking mine in a baking tray, but you can use a castor iron. Uh, whatever you have home that you can use to bake with, I guess you can use it. Um, just make sure you round it very nice. It's a little bit sticky, the batter, but you can put flour in your hand and just kind of pat it down. And I'm going to cut an X in the middle. Then, because of course they like too much chocolate, I'm going to go ahead and add again more chocolate on the top of the cake. But when you add the chocolate, on the top you have to use your hands to press it down because if you don't do that it's not gonna stick the one you mix with the butter is okay but it's the one you're adding on the top of the um, Irish spread when you are getting ready to put it in the oven and this part also is optional you don't have to do this part I'm sorry guys I did say cake in there I mean Irish bread before I got started, I preheat the oven to 375 degrees and we're going to bake it for 45 to 50 minutes. After the 45 minutes, just uh, stick a toothpick in the middle or a knife. If it's come out clean, your Irish bread is done. If it's sticky, you leave it there for another 5 to 10 minutes. We are done guys, the Irish bread is done. This bread is very moist and delicious. You can have it with hot coffee, hot chocolate, hot tea, which I'm gonna have it with today. But I'm gonna have the plain one. I'm leaving the chocolate with, for the kids. And you can add butter if you like. You can add butter after you finish. It's very good and I hope you guys gonna give it a try. Thank you so much guys for watching today. Like, share, comment, and yarama.